Hey guys, if you're thinking about buying a new Wrangler, there's a very important decision you have to make, and that is which top is right for you, because different tops give you a very different experience. And so to answer that question, we've put together three different Jeeps. First is the Jeep with the hard top. Next, this one, while the Rubicon has the Sky One Touch Power Top. And finally, the one that Nathan is standing next to is the top that the Jeep Wrangler comes with, which is the soft top. So Nathan, how do we decide which Jeep experience is the best? Hmm, there's only one way to find out. What's that, dude? Take him for a ride. This video is sponsored by our friends at Best Top, who, by the way, make the Soft Top Factory Top. Isn't that cool? Let's start with the Soft Top. This has been completely redesigned to make it easier to use. Now, I know you're thinking, ah, no, it's not that easy. You want to bet? Check it out. Sun visors, down. Clips, down. Top. All right, so, ta-da. Now for the rest. Back in the old days, you had the problem of buttons and snaps and Velcro. Now, you guys, pull up, you pull up, pull that, pull this. See how it pops right out? And this, you curl like a bodybuilder, and then the whole thing slides out. Voila! Very simple. This is where you use your kung fu. Ta da! Go up and around. You pull the whole thing right out. Now, almost done. See this lever right here? Up, up, pull it down, and you're done. Nathan, did you know that when you get a Wrangler, the power top and the hard top are optional, but this comes with it? Yeah, it's a standard top, and you know what? It is so much better than the old one. Yeah, you know, they've really improved it. The old one was, well, finicky. Finicky? That's <laughs> finicky. But this one, like three steps. Yeah, it was pretty easy to do, and you know what? For a guy like me, saying it's easy, that's saying something. And it's also, I think, the fun option, right? Because, let's face it, if you're gonna get a Wrangler, you want this. This this is why you're here. Well, hell yeah. I mean, you know, wind in your hair if you have it. Um... <laughs> yeah, yeah, this is great, Nathan. Yeah, I, I like I, it. I'm really, really enjoying this. I mean, you know, what more would you want? A beautiful day? Well, hair, for one, I, I would like hair, but my bald head loves the sun. All we're, all we're missing is actually a trail and some dirt. Yeah, but even just driving every day, it's kind of cool being able to take down your top in a couple minutes and then boom, you're on the road, especially on a day like today. So the one thing, Nathan, you are missing with a soft top is security. It can get cut. Sure. So if you live someplace where that's an issue, you may want to think of more of a hardened option. The hard top. Definitely popular if you're in a cold environment or if you're worried about security. Now here's the cool part. They've recently redone the Freedom Top to make it a lot easier to remove. Here's the process. One, two, three, four. And, ta-da, it's free. Now bear in mind, you can get these color coordinated to the vehicle as well, but that is extra money. They fit back here, no problemo. Now, in order to remove this top, you need a couple people, because this is all one piece. This is the one that you see on the lot the most often, and this is the one that cost anywhere from just over $1,000 if you get the black one, right. to up to $2,000 additional if you get the painted top. Now, there are a couple benefits right off the bat. First of all, security. Yep. Once the top is on, it's as good as any other top. It is rock solid and you have security. 
Yeah, I think that's uh, important, but with security also comes weight. <laughs> yes. Not only is it heavy, but getting these two panels off, not so hard. It's not so hard to get them off, these two panels. That back panel, which is one component, it's gonna take two people to do, and then you gotta find some place to put it. Now the upside, of course, there is an upside to the hard top first. You have that windshield wiper in the back. And the heated glass. And the heated glass. So let's say you have a ski rack or something that you want to throw on top. A lot easier to do with a hard top. You can just clip on just about anything. With the soft top, you actually have to have a little bit of a cage going around in order to make that happen. So that is definitely one thing about the hard top that's a huge bonus. But once again, I mean, you know, there's their pro and cons to everything. But you know what? There is a roof that kind of gives you a little bit of the best of both worlds. You know what? I think we need to take it for a ride. Hell yeah. Now we have the Sky One Touch Power Top. This isn't what I would call exactly a compromise because it's a very expensive top, but it's super cool because it really is a one touch. Check this out. There's really two things you can do with it. One, you can make this whole section pull all the way back electrically. Unfortunately, in order to make that happen, you have to have power. So, either, that's annoying, or fire up the engine, which I usually recommend. That way you're not just drawing from the battery. And, one touch, one finger, one touch. You let go, it stops, by the way. And here's the cool part. It actually goes all the way over the rear passenger seats. But there's more to it. So now that you have the top all the way back, but you want even more of an open air feel, there is one more thing you can do. Follow me. All right, check it out. Let's open her up. Now once again, roof's already back. What else can you do? Well, what if you want to get rid of these panels? It's actually really easy. That goes down, that goes down, and then, Open the rear door and pop her out. Ta -da! Now with both of these out, you have yourself a fairly open area. Unfortunately, there is something to it. <laughs> you have to stash these and they're painted. So you have to be super careful. All right, Nathan, Sky One Touch Power Top. Look at that. It's pretty cool and it's not that slow. But it's not that inexpensive either. <laughs> no, no, you're talking about from going up in the soft top about a $4,000 edition. Yeah, that ain't cheap, dude. That ain't cheap at all. But here's the bottom line. Yeah. It is a compromise between a hard top and a soft top. When we first got RJL to test it was this top right yep then we brought it in and we tested it out we did a spray test on it and everything else well I brought that one home and I brought it to she who must be obeyed okay. my wife all right all right and she loved it absolutely loved the idea of, first of all being able to open the top partially like a sunroof real quick love the fact that if you held the button down it goes all the way back love that and love the fact that the rear windows, the sides, could be removed relatively easily. Then I told her the price. Yeah. You know what she said? What? Soft top. <laughs> I can see that, Nathan. Yep, that's exactly what she said. I can see that. So nice thing about this one is it's, you know, we've got the sides off, we've got the top down, let me roll window down, so we've got kind of apples to apples comparison here. It's not that loud. No, it's, it's very similar to this, the hard top. Yeah, yeah, it's very similar. And also, you open up the windows, and really this thing is only one step away from being just like the full soft top in terms of almost everything being open. The real noticeable thing is that the rear glass back there is still closed. You know, I, I think the good news here is that there are three really good options if you're looking at a Wrangler. Yeah. And you want to go topless. So my biggest question, of course, is which one would you buy? And I think you should park them in find out. Yeah, because I think I have the right answer. Nathan, dude, if it were your money, which top would you get? I would go for the soft top for two main reasons. 
One, it's lighter. Yep. And two, it's cheaper. Really? Yeah. I, I thought it was because you wanted the wind in your... Never mind. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> thanks for watching, guys. And remember, check out TFLcar.com for more news views. And, of course, Jeep Wrangler top reviews. Ciao. Sorry. Thank <laughs> you.